Welcome to The Pulse, brought to you by MDT-TV. A Massachusetts prosthetics company has kept the business in the family since 1914, and today, the Martinos are helping victims of the Boston Marathon bombing get back up on their feet. The company fabricates sockets out of carbon fiber to fit over the end of the wounded leg. These sockets are then connected to the artificial knees and feet that are manufactured elsewhere. Since the attack on April 8th, people who lost both or one of their legs in the bombing have come to the Martinos to be fitted for prosthetics. More than 1.6 million sports-related concussions happen every year. So to address this concern, one BYU student has developed a new smart foam to measure impact events, like getting tackled by a 300-pound lineman. The new foam is a result of research in the silicone-based motion sensors. By combining a conductive mixture into foam, voltage was created. When compressed, the self-powered smart foam generates electrical signals that are transmitted wirelessly to a tablet or computer to record the impact of each hit. Apart from the insight it will offer to concussions, the foam also has applicability in the automotive industry and law enforcement. Scientists have developed a new gel that releases anti-inflammatory medicine when compressed. This new material would deliver medications to patients when and where they need it most, responding directly to physical pressure, the cause of pain for more than 27 million osteoarthritis patients in the U.S. Vanderbilt has published a new paper detailing the integration of robotic limbs with the human neural control systems to emulate the full biomechanical functionality of a healthy limb. These robotic legs are software controllable, mirroring the way that the central nervous system controls the human musculoskeletal system. By coordinating the movement of the leg with the movement of the patient, this new prosthetic will offer patients greater mobility and stability when walking, running, and even standing on an uneven surface. For more medical design news, visit mdtmeg.com. For MDT-TV, I'm Melissa Fossmender, and this has been The Pulse.